Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm here with the Bamboo Lab P2S and two AMS2 Pro. You are looking at the rear of the printer and the rear of the AMS because we are going to install two AMS or AMS2 Pro to the P2S. You will need a PTFE cutter, two six pin cables, two reasonable lengths of PTFE tubing, one small length of PTFE tubing, and potentially this four in one Bamboo Lab splitter. There are two methods to do this. One requires the four in one adapter, one does not. While you may skip to the method with or without the four in one adapter, I would suggest watching both. During the process, I may show an additional step or two just to help understand how to connect and disconnect components in the P2S, buffer, 4-in-1 adapter, and AMS units. Feel free to disregard anything that doesn't pertain to you. The first method will use the 4-to-1 adapter and maintain the external spool connection. We'll do that now. There are two methods to connect to AMS2 to the P2S. The first method allows you to keep the external spool holder on the machine. For this method, we will connect one six pin cable to the AMS of your choice and the other to a six pin on the buffer hub. We will then connect another six pin to the other port on that same AMS and connect it to the back of AMS number two. If you'd like to use heat on AMS number two, you'll need to connect the Bamboo Lab AC adapter to that AMS. You will then insert your PTFE tube. You now have three PTFE tubes, one connected to each AMS and one to the external spool holder. The external spool holder is connected to one of the inputs on the hub buffer. The other two connect to the other input. This is where the splitter comes in. Using a PTFE cutting tool and only a PTFE cutting tool, cut a small length of PTFE. I did reach out to Bamboo and ask for their recommended length. I was unable to get a response. I'm going to go with approximately one inch. Join the coupler and the second input with that small piece of PTFE. In this coupler, we will pick any two ports. and connect one PTFE from each AMS. Using this method, you now have two AMS and the external spool holder connected to your P2S. You may daisy chain up to four AMS into that four-way hub. Method number two will work only with two AMS and does not require the four in one adapter. However, it will sacrifice the external spool holder, sorta. Let's check it out. Leaving everything the same, we will remove the external spool holder PTFE tube by disengaging the coupler, pushing this button, and removing the PTFE. We will then disengage this coupler and remove the four in one. Just like the Bamboo Lab A1, this four in one splitters couplers hold really strong and you'll need to be patient to get the tubes out without breaking the teeth. Take one PTFE from each AMS and insert each one into one of the buffers inputs. 
These are standard PTFE tubes. You may order your own and use them at the length you are comfortable with. A general rule is to keep them as short as possible. Instead of connecting them to each other, we will connect each AMS to its own six pin port. You now have two AMS or AMS2 Pro connected to the P2S. If you would like to use an external spool, remove one of the PTFE and connect the PTFE from the external spool. When you are ready to return to using both AMS2 Swap it back. Be very careful not to break the teeth in any of these couplers. Should you break the teeth, the coupler will no longer hold the PTFE and you will need to replace the hub, or worse, the coupler in your AMS. Your P2S can power the drying of one AMS2 Pro. If you'd like to power two or more, you will need the Bamboo Lab AC adapter for each additional AMS2 Pro. This process is the same for AMS and AMS2 Pro. I'm Mr. Craig, and you're on 3D Rundown.